The Biden administration is planning to crack down on illegal child labor nationwide. The decision follows a New York Times article that discusses the growing number of young migrant children forced into dangerous jobs across the U.S. The Times' investigation reports thousands of children are becoming part of a so-called shadow workforce of underage migrants. The increase is a result of the growing number of unaccompanied minors being taken into custody at the U.S.-Mexico border. Anna Dreyer is an investigative reporter at The New York Times and author of the article. She joins us now for more on her findings. I mean, it is staggering to, to read this piece and uh, to think about these children because child labor laws are in place to prevent exactly these types of things from happening. Why is this problem so widespread? Thank you for having me. And like you say, child labor laws exist to protect kids from these most dangerous jobs. And what we found is that with migrant children, they are ending up at the top of three-story buildings, replacing the roof. They're burning themselves on caustic chemicals, cleaning slaughterhouses. They're working with conveyor belts that chew up people's fingers. And until yesterday, really, this did not seem to be a priority of the Department of Labor. These are kids who have come across in record numbers in the last two years, 250,000 kids just since 2021. And what I've found is that a lot of these kids are ending up in some of the most punishing jobs in the country. You know, you said until yesterday, Hannah, the best case scenario of uh, you know, great investigative journalism is to see consequences in, and happen quickly after. Uh, yesterday, as we were reading about this, we also heard that the Biden administration was going to act quickly, and that came out right after your reporting. What steps uh, do you know that the administration is taking to protect these children? It sounds like it's many industries. I mean, it is unusual. We published the story on Saturday after a year of reporting, and what we were told was that everybody in the White House system who works on these issues was working all weekend. By Sunday, Biden was signing off on these reforms. And like you say, they were announced yesterday. So that, I think, does imply some seriousness about finally taking this on. One thing that hasn't been changed, though, is that these kids come they're not undocumented. They come, they go through a federal shelter system, and then they're released to adults who are supposed to take care of them. And after that, there's no follow-up, really, for most of these kids to see if they're okay. It's not like the foster care system where a kid would have a social worker, would have some sort of safety net. These children are, are really on their own, and that's something that I think members of Congress and other people are going to be talking about this week. But as far as the Department of Labor, they are going to be launching an initiative all across the country to start proactively trying to go into workplaces and find children who might be taken advantage of. And from my reporting, those are workplaces in all 50 states at this point. Do you think that it's because these are migrant children that, that they haven't been treated with the same level of concern? And I'm wondering if companies uh, have been responding to you about the allegations of them putting these underage children in dangerous positions? Companies certainly have been responding. We've gotten a range of responses. Most people are, most companies are saying that they were unaware and they're now investigating and will fire their suppliers or manufacturers if they find child labor in that supply chain. One exception is Ben & Jerry's, which is actually telling us that some children are going to need to work, and that's unfortunate, but it's better for them to work in a well-regulated workplace. These other companies, though, historically have been very insulated because these kids come through staffing agencies and then go to a manufacturer, and then the product is sold by Fruit of the Loom. And there hasn't been a lot of interest from the Department of Labor in cracking down on that sort of top-level company, but that's something that, that may be changing. And the spokespeople I'm talking to seem seem pretty concerned at these companies at this point. Yeah, well, that was uh, remarkable reporting. Hannah Dreyer, thank you so much for joining Thanks. us.